this is Cure My Mind, and we're going to skip um, much of the talk. Um, so, uh, first off, some people have been complaining that I did a web encrypted network, uh, cracked it, but um, they kind of started to complain about they're not that I'm not that nobody uses web encrypted um, passwords, um, web encrypted um, networks. But in actuality, people actually still do. And if you're in a country that don't anymore, oh, congratulations for your country. Um, where I am too, there's still a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people that don't know how to go into their modems. And most of the modems are preset with the web encrypted uh, network. Uh, so, for you, for those of you that are whining, um, I'm going to show you where to get a password list for WPA. There's two types of uh, WPA in, uh, encrypt, uh, uh, decrypting. Uh, one of them would be brute force. Uh, I mean, not decrypting, but hacking. Uh, one of them would be brute force, and the other one would be dictionary. I'm not going to go into brute force because that one would take forever. And dictionary, well, it depends on how many passwords you got, and you'll be lucky if, if this program finds it. And what it does is just goes through all the passwords and see if one of those matches up to to um the password in the in the modem. I mean router or modem modem router. Um, so the way that I got a good list would be from this uh, site right here. I'll provide the link for you guys because um, I don't know why. So um, it's eight gigabytes. I didn't download the full eight. I just got the the. I just went through all of them and got the biggest ones. Um, pretty much once you you know get uTorrent, BitTorrent, whatever torrent application p2p uh, download you got you get that so basically uh, you'll get it downloaded I got these three right here these three uh, I'll show you what one of them looks like um, the smallest one because it takes a while to open up basically that's all it is is just the password and then another password below that and then it's just passwords below that so that's pretty much all it's doing um, what I found out that if if the if the naming of your thing say says words uh, some passwords twenty eight and then ten million see this big one right here uh, rename it and then just delete all that and just leave it at the ten million and that should that should be it because <laughs> um, if you leave it long it's not gonna work the program over here won't accept it so. First off, we're going to edit this. Uh, first, we're going to go to the word list over here. So this should be um, where the program actually gets it. This, come on. This right here, it says uh, pen test word list, uh, passwords word list, and then the 10 million, like I told you before. I renamed them to 10 million.txt as the format. Uh, let's see. You can actually grab all these and... And just grab them and then rename them. And then just copy that. And then put it right here in between the forward slash and the uh, quotation. It's not going to change because I already got it. So once you do that, you're going to click the save button. And then you're going to close it. Once you got it all done, you can put them all in here. And then just go back in here and just know which one which one you're gonna use. Copy the the full name and the extension, uh, and paste it and save it into your uh, program, your script over here that you got from that awesome guy, Got Milk, or whatever he wants to call himself. And then basically you put it in there. You can go watch the other video on the web encrypted. Uh, I was actually not in um, web encrypted. Uh, web cracking. Um, I was actually not cracking web. I was just showing the 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 script that is pretty nice and pretty sweet and how to actually fix it to work with your Backtrack 5. It works for Backtrack 5 R1. So once we get it all set up and in there, pretty much hit enter. Of course, I'm not going to get my, my, uh, my password is not in there because I'm going to show you uh, this sometimes can take a while. Um, that that's the reason why I didn't put it in there because I don't not like most of the YouTubers. Well, I can crack it in like under a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, let's let's not let's not let's not lie to you. So, 
I'm going to choose mine. Mine's three right here. And it's uh, WPA encrypted. It's actually WPA2 uh, encrypted. Um, actually, WPA2 PSK encrypted. But it's the same difference. Uh, once it uh, configures the environment, detects the clients, and then and then does all this nice little thing, starts the arrow dump and stuff like that to capture the packages and then to get the to get the handshake and you know all the fun stuff that you can Google. <laughs> uh, pretty much, this is how it looks like, and it's pretty quick since I'm not. If you're too far away from the access point, like if 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 it still gives you out an error, you're probably too far away from from where you're trying to crack it. You can see it, but you can't really hold on the you can't really hold on to it. That's why it doesn't work. Uh, so you got to get closer. Unless you have a uh, G Sky, a USB Wi-Fi card, and then you know with the bigger antenna, then you can um, uh, amp up the power. And I'm not gonna show you how to how to do that. So pretty much that was a quick one. Um, once it gets the handshake, it starts cracking. It cracks away. It goes through all these um, uh, um, passphrases and pretty much the passwords. It just starts trying them one by one quickly. So it's actually a neat little program. You would try this one first if you want a, a brute force. Um, that's something completely different. And um, if you really want to know about the the commands that this little program used, please provide. Um, please tell me on the on the comments below, and I'll and I'll re-edit the video uh, on the on the description. I'll re-edit the video's description and put all the uh, all what this program is actually doing internally. Uh, for me, I like it because it's you know quick, fast, and and I don't have to constantly keep typing in all those passwords. I mean, pa I'm not passwords, but uh, keep typing in all those um, what do you call them? commands <laughs> I'm falling asleep here so this is cure my mind saying people still use web encrypted as if if you're in a country that doesn't no longer make this devices for web encrypted good for you um, too bad you're not over here where I'm at where there's a lot of web encrypted uh, networks <laughs> you can go ahead and try out yes it's like a free candy and who doesn't like free candy come on um, but anyways this is that's how it is over here, and I wasn't really trying to show you how to how to crack these networks, um, how to go into them because that's illegal. I was just showing you what this script, this little awesome script. This is an appreciation of this script, but since you guys started to complain, uh, here you go. Um, of course, it's not going to crack mine, but this is sometimes how it's going to uh, do sometimes, and it's going to keep going, and you. Just keep going on to the next password list and and stuff like that. Um, you can download them all if you want. Just start going one by one. See which one actually works. Uh, remember, name them small, no spaces, so these password lists can actually function. And um, well, that's pretty much it. Um, if it doesn't have it, then um, keep trying to look for other passwords or you know add them in there. Or make your own password phrases that you think might be in there. Try different types of names and stuff like that. Uh, they're not hard to make. They're not hard to build and stuff like that. I believe there's also some password. You can get this like program that will automatically make passwords for you. Um, you can Google that on your own. Come on. I'm already showing you this much and where to get the password lists that I have. So this is Cure My Mind saying, here you guys go.